This video will give an overview of verbs. I could teach you these five different verb forms, walk, walks, walked, walked, and walking, that's the regular pattern, but I think a lot of you already know them intuitively. When do these verb forms change? That has to do with the tense. And there's more than just three. We can apply these simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous to the past, present, and future. So there's some consistent helping verbs that might change on pl plurality, and then the different verb forms from the previous slide are dropped into each of these slots. Irregular verbs don't follow that same ed and ing pattern, and we see things like swim, swam, swum, or break, broke, broken, sing, sang, sung. And again, you use the verb form based on which tense you're trying to use. So primarily it's here in the simple past and the perfect tenses that we use those irregular forms. We can see that a regular verb like walk is on top and an irregular verb like sing is on the bottom in each of these columns. There are three main types of verbs. Action verbs like Paul ran down the hill or Teresa passed the soup or Timothy planned for the event can be mental or physical actions that the subject carries out. Linking verbs connect a description of the subject to that subject. So they're almost like a big equal sign. Todd seems kind, Todd equals kind, Emily equals patient, Melissa equals sick. There's no action occurring here. And the final one is an auxiliary or helping verb. These will never go solo, they're always attached to a main verb, and they add some extra context about time or possibility or the meaning. They can go both with action and linking verbs. For example, he is jumping on the trampoline, is is a helping verb for the action verb jumping and they have been late every day, been there is a linking verb, and have is a helping verb. So more examples of action verbs, and another definition, it's a word that expresses an action that the subject of the sentence does. Wendy rolled the dice. Action verb is rolled. Sam broke the spirit stick. Reggie spit on the mound. Isabella dreams about the circus. Physical or mental actions. A linking verb connects the subject of the verb to additional information about the subject, and it doesn't show action. Here's some of the most common linking verbs. Forms of the verb to be, sort of this states of being category, and the five senses. You can't just memorize this table though, because many of these words could be action or linking depending on context. For example, she looked around. Well, that's an action. But if you said she looked tired, tired describes she. There's no action taking place there. If you say he is annoying my dog, well, that's an action. He is annoying, that's a description. They felt the soft sheets, an action is occurring. They felt inadequate, inadequate describes they. Was eating is an action, and full describes I. It's more of a state of being. And these are tricky, because you could try to say that eating is a state of being, and it's connected to I. But if you try to picture someone eating pizza, are they actually carrying out an action? If so, that's probably in the action category. So auxiliary verb, or we'll probably call them helping verbs, it's just easier to say. They accompany another verb to help express its tense, mood, or voice. And here's a pretty complete list, forms of the verbs be, do, and have, and then kind of this whole separate category of the modal verbs that don't change form depending on plurality or person. And one more reminder of the difference, linking verbs do not show action, they connect the subject to more information about it, is here is a linking verb, student describes Louisa, and seems is a linking verb, interesting describes the class. Auxiliary verbs come before the main verb, they'll never be by themselves, and they assist the main verb by showing time and meaning. Here, is writing is the whole verb phrase, or can go is the whole verb phrase, and is and can are the helping verbs, or auxiliary verbs. Every sentence has a complete subject and predicate and a simple variety of the same. A simple predicate is the verb or verb phrase that expresses action or being about the subject. So that could be an action verb or a linking verb, and it includes all of the helping verbs, but not any adverbs that might be in the middle of that phrase. So for example, we drove the van to a nearby restaurant. Drove is the simple predicate. Lions were snoozing in the sun. We have the helping verb were, and then the main verb snoozing. She is always losing her phone. Our verb phrase would be is always losing but the simple predicate only includes the helping verb is and the main verb losing. One final round of examples, underlining the simple predicate for different types of verbs. Felix raced to the tent, 
Kurt had been swimming for hours at that point. Petunia will often eat too many snickerdoodles. We don't include the word often, which is an adverb. Jillian felt sad after the funeral. Ernie looked clean after his bath. Oscar does not smell trashy, and we don't include that adverb not in the simple predicate.